In this video, we're going to talk about callouts or labels within layout for SketchUp. So you find the icon for this up here. S layout refers to them as labels, um, but some programs will call them callouts. Now, we've got an example of one here. They're made up of a leader line, a shoulder line, the text, and then also you may have ends at each point end of the line which might be arrows or dots and they can be other things as well what we use them for is for labeling information within a drawing to create one we simply select the label tool and we use three clicks the first click is at the end of where the object we would like to point to is we click once we move our mouse out and this creates the length of the leader line. We click. The next click creates the length and angle of the shoulder line and it'll default to coming out directly sideways to straighten up so that your text is horizontal on the page as it usually is. After that, then we simply type. To finish, like with other text tools, if you hit the space bar key, it'll just put a space in between your words, which is really handy when you're typing. So to finish, you can either hit the escape key or you could select another tool as well. Like with other tools in layout, we can either retrofit an object by selecting it and then changing it over in our default trays or we can deselect, come to the tool, and now set new standards before we start, and this will apply to all future ones. So I've changed this to an italics, and now we should find that as I put it in for the first time, it's defaulted to be in italics. I could also do this for many of the other formatting options within here and the color of the line, etc. There are also other options that we can edit and you'll find those within the shape and style dialog box. So I'm going to select this call out or label here. And the things that I have control over are the color of the leader and shoulder and arrow and dot at the end, which I could control here. It'll bring up this color dialog box and I can amend it from there. The next thing I can do is change the thickness of these lines and I can do that here. You'll probably want to keep it fairly fine though for your drawings. The next thing that we can do is we could change this to being a dashed line, which is probably not going to happen very commonly, but could be handy in some situations where your messies are getting, your drawings are getting very messy. And an important one that we've got here that will come up for you is changing the ends. So we've got this set to an arrow at one end and a dot at the other, but you may want to use dots from time to time or different other ends. Some people distinguish between arrows and dots to highlight different objects or surfaces within their project. Some people might use an arrow to point to an object while they'll use a dot to point to a surface within an area. With these dots and arrows we're also able to change the size of them. We are also able to change the leader line from being straight to a curve. To do this, you can click to start your call out and then hold down your left mouse button and pull sideways and it will create a curve for you. From there, you are able to input your text. From time to time, you're going to want to edit one of these callouts or labels after you've popped it in. 
So there's a few different ways you can do it and you'll get different results depending on how you tackle it. First one might be that we are going to just try and grab the text by holding down our left mouse button. Uh, this will move the shoulder and the leader depending on where you're going. And the next method that we have is to double click directly on the text and this allows us to change the text. We can also double click on the leader line or shoulder line and you'll notice these dots come up. This allows us to change uh, things individually one, one point at a time. So I could change the angle of my leader and then I could detach the shoulder from my text and move that around as well.